at Roker Park. This one seen by Barry Davis. Roker Park all set for the fourth and last act of a drama in Cup and League. The last three acts coming in the space of ten days, which has so far produced five goals, one victory for either side, three sendings off and nine bookings. The teams each show one change from Saturday's league match here, with Sunderland losing the considerable influence of Paul Bracewell, injured by Dennis Bergkamp's unlikely and untypical tackle, which brought his dismissal. But young Michael Bridges, troubled by a groin, plays, and Craig Russell is recalled. Arsenal's change is enforced by the suspension of John Hartson, who joins Ian Wright in the sin bin. And 20-year-old Stephen Hughes, who played the last 10 minutes of Saturday's game, gets his first start for two seasons. The referee is unchanged from the first meeting. Stephen Dunn from Bristol. Arsenal in a change strip of yellow. Tony Adams for them. And Martin Keogh. Usual back three, Keogh on the right. Adams in the middle, bowled on the left. It's Ray Parler. Interesting to see the reaction the first time the ball reaches Dennis Bergkamp, who at the moment is the only one forward, Paul Merson. He made that run. This is Vieira. Bold. Lee Dixon is back in training, but still not recovered from, uh, in terms of match fitness after the ankle injury. Seventh match in the FA Cup between these two. Sunderland lead three to two. With, of course, the one draw. on bold some bridges cautious youngster of considerable talent we have to do on the evidence of that his bird camp this is Vieira it would have been a good ball if somebody had been coming in it's a bit short saved by Perez from Winterberg. Well, the old cliche about end to end is entirely apposite about this cup tie so far. Because he was running out of room, pulled it back. Not back to Perez, was just a touch short. at the moment, now Michael Gray getting there and this is Kubitsky and the touch from Parler was important could have been a clean header for Kubitsky but for the fact that it came off the curly top another angle just Kubitsky didn't really anticipate that one he wasn't that well off the ground Beats everybody. Not a 
curl. In no danger. The timing of the jump, really, by both attacker and defender was uh, wrong. Flat. Good ball back to Mercy. Bergkamp in the middle. Corner. Adams just by the penalty spot. Starts the first movement. Mercy the completely missed his kick. Hughes. Winterburn. Oh dear. Mounted to a back pass. It was ideally placed to go for Curler on his left foot. Really didn't seize the opportunity at all. Left side, but it was a really good opportunity. Taking the corner, was still hanging around this side. This is a good chance for a left-footed player, but he side-footed it. Into the arms of Perez. Bergkamp. Challenge was effective. Looked as though he was bound to score. Just managed to get a foot in. Mercy. Vieira! Offside flag. Just. The pass was played. Exactly, but he might have just beaten it. But, uh, Referee decided otherwise. David Platt. Winter Burns made a forward movement on the left, but it's come the other way to Russell. Good tackle. And he's back for more. And here's Bridges. And Russell was flattened then by Keown. Play continues. Gray. And the referee. And the ball goes out of play. Will now take action against Martin Keogh. And it's a really good tackle that by Adams. But Russell so keen, came back to get the ball, and then met Keown by night. So the tenth booking. Matches between these two sides this season, of which this will be the last. There must be a result here this evening, even if it has to be decided from the penalty spot. Very graceful in the background there. Still Ryan and Willie Donnerke in the ground. Winterberg. Attack at the moment. Gray gets a corner. Kubitsky, I think, unaware that it had actually opened up a bit for him. Could have continued going for his right. All preceded by Melville into the 18 yard box. It's a better corner. It's well cleared by Keogh. A lively cup tie reaches its halfway point without uh, anything productive in terms of uh, resolution of this third round tie. A lot to entertain the locals from the youngsters in their team. But the half time score with Arsenal having had the clearer chances is nil nil.
where we go on the second half and just possibly the last half of FA Cup football at Roca Park. Arsenal with a win. By the time next season comes around, some of them will be at their new home. The crowd, I would think, giving that any consideration at the moment. Or indeed, as Peter Reid. Arsenal's recent record, not too good in third round replays, beaten in the last two seasons. Super United last season, Millwall the season before. Bergkamp with the first threat of the second half. Allowed to dwell and place it quite superbly. That's a brilliant goal by Dennis Bergkamp. <laughs> Nothing to be said. Speak no news of any sort, but they let him dwell on the ball. And my heaven, he made them pay. Camp seventh goal of the season. Oh, dancing steps at the beginning, but they stood off him and he saw the opportunity and took it brilliantly. Obvious delight. Dutchman pleasing Frenchman. And now from North London. Ford. Go on, you've got him, is the shout. Three plays on. Gray. And a bad strike by Young Bridges. Gray made the initial incision. It's affected by Tony Adams. Is Pala, your chance, not with the feet, which does quite often, Perez. It's been encouraged to turn and get the ball away by the crowd. Pala. He's waiting in the middle. By David Platt, Parler, Merson. It's been to burn off the far post. Finally away in the end by Kelly, but not well away, only to Vieira. To Adams, Arsenal turning the screw. That's a good stop. It's a slight deflection on the shot initially. It's going from Paul Merson. Taking a bit of a sting out of it. Winterburn, the unlucky man there. Behind the post. And again, there is the watcher. Merson, he's away. Platt in the middle. David Platt. Again, the legs. Used a very good purpose. Perez, as at Highbury, keeping Sunderland in the FA Cup. Bergkamp back to Merson. Smith arriving, he's the West One. Yeah! Two nothing to Arsenal. It's a moot point as to who got the touch. Whether it was Hughes or Kelly. Hughes will certainly claim it. He always looked the man on. Yes, got his head before the boot. So with all the answers on the field that tonight for Stephen Hughes to remember. First 
goal for Arsenal, surely deciding that they'll go through to round four. Winterburn. Vieira. Hughes, got one, goes for another. He hit it well too. Stop in a spectacular fashion. Almost went too soon. The ball was swerving and he had to reach back a bit for it. He did well. That Merson between two. Fooling for this. <laughs> what a nice reaction. Perez uh, got it right. How much he knew about it, I don't know. He was just there. Attempt to love him, it just didn't come off. Determined to keep the clean sheet. Now playing the time that the referee was allowing for the odd stoppage. Smith. Comprehensive victory for Arsene Wenger's Arsenal team. The goals in the 46th and the 65th minute. The first by Bergkamp with delight. The second by Hughes, a special delight for him. Sunderland staying alive while they were lively on the pitch. But the early goal in the second half really rocked them back. And from really from that point onwards. Arsenal were in control. 2 0 success for the Gunners. The ups and downs of football. On Saturday, Dennis Bergkamp gets sent off in an unlikely manner, to put it mildly. Today, he scores one of the goals of the season. Yes, but uh, I think uh, we saw today the real Bergkamp, and last Saturday we didn't see the real Bergkamp. He, he, he has a, uh, amazing, uh, he had an amazing reaction. I think himself uh, surprised him himself. Well, I think it was uh, one of my better goals. I mean, uh, not only the, the shot itself, but what went uh, on before that was uh, was particularly particularly right. And that's, um, yeah, I'm very satisfied with that. I think we backed off a bit too much, but you can't argue with the, with the um, ball control and uh, the way he uh, sized it up and just placed in the top corner. Maybe going to get beat, get beat by a goal like that, but uh, we weren't good enough on the night. But the timing of that goal was uh, a real death knell for you, wasn't it? Yeah, we would want to said that at half-time because um, they were powerful. I just said, try and get it down the sides, try and stretch him. And I just, uh, we, we come after the kick-off and we're defending and then he stuck it in there. So uh, that plan went out of window. Arsenal home to Leeds or Crystal Palace. Great bird camp goal, but let's have your thoughts on that uh, result for Arsenal. Well, Sunderland had a depleted side and they basically gave it the best shot, but it wasn't good enough. Arsenal never had any problems, always in control. No Ian Wright, and you just thought maybe not a cutting edge there, but in the second half, the two quality players, Merson and Bergkamp, took over. Fabulous performance. This is Merson, he gets the throw in here, and he just flies at the Sunderland defence, and this ball is superb. Early, outside the right foot, David Platt running through, and a good save by Perez, but magnificent vision. And for the, for the second goal, he takes off Bergkamp. He comes on the right-hand side. A lot of people would have shot here and hit it low. Brilliant chip to the back post. Hughes comes in 2-0. But obviously, this was the goal of the night. 
This is absolutely fantastic. It's a double drag back. He gets it stuck under his feet, and then he digs it out and hits in the top corner. Absolutely magnificent. Here we are. That's a one-two, and then it looks like he's going nowhere. He's got it stuck under his feet. He digs it out and gives the goalkeeper no chance, and it, it's just a sign of pure quality. It really was. Sure was. Two other results.